AMD just dropped three more reasons to be excited about the future of their stock. We've been covering AMD alongside Intel, Nvidia, and the semiconductor market in general in more depth in the last couple of weeks. I've been talking a lot about how AMD seems to be a pretty great value for investors with potential shortish term upside of 30% or more. While it's super important to follow the financial statements and looking at things like DCFs and other analytical tools like that, it can also be helpful to know more about the nitty gritty of what's going on with the product cycles too. So in this video, I'll be focusing a bit more on that. Whether you're techie or not, I hope this look into some of their products will give you a bit more reason to be even more excited about the future of AMD stock. Since we started our series, AMD stock has indeed gained a few bucks and seems to be doing pretty well in the face of some downward pressure on stock prices in general. While we've been comparing various companies' stock performance and future prospects, one of the reasons AMD stood out was because they're simultaneously boosting sales and margins while providing arguably like the best bang for the buck products in the market. Nvidia is definitely known as being dominant, especially in the gaming and GPU sectors of the market, and they are continuing to grow as well, as I shared in this video linked up here, but one of the bottlenecks we're seeing is that because of the global chip shortage, they're nowhere near being able to keep up with their demand. All the while, AMD is stepping up their game in terms of performance and graphical output. This overflows into impacting gaming, but potentially more crucially, also spills over into their data centers and other high performance segments of the market as well. In this video, I wanted to take a look at Lisa Su and the team over at AMD's presentation at the recent Computex 2021, where they presented a number of exciting upcoming launches. I'm going to share some of the clips and later on share another clip from a popular well-known YouTuber in the tech space too, to drive the point home. Now, before I get into the first point, I wanted to clarify something that's come up a couple, a couple of times in the comments section. Some of the people have been asking me what a GPU or a graphics card is. In most computers designed for simple tasks, a CPU, the brain of the computer, is enough to handle the demands of things like word processing, surfing the web, like reading ebooks or whatever. Uh, but in computers or systems that need to handle intense gaming graphics or AI processing or other demanding tasks like video editing, a GPU or a graphic processing unit, graphical processing unit, may be present. Separate from the CPU, the GPU is designed specifically to handle complex calculations and has its own processors and memory too, but at an added cost. Newer systems like Apple's M1 Max have both the CPU and the GPU built into one piece. And this is a growing trend in the market, but for the most part, having them separate has been common for a long time. And I think in certain applications will be continuing going forward into the future. So simply put, if you want strong performance, Get a computer with a GPU. Okay, with that said, let's look at the first surprising point from this video. Let me show you why we're excited to bring these chips to gamers and builders around the world. To do that, I'm gonna show you a demo of Rogue Company, a popular game for, from high res Studios. We're running on the Ryzen 7 5700G's built-in graphics, and the experience is just fantastic. At 1080p in high image quality, running entirely from the processor with no graphics card, we're averaging 78 frames per second. The Ryzen 5000 G series processors perform really well across a wide range of content creation applications and games. So on top creative apps like DaVinci Resolve or Blender and games like CSGO or Fortnite, you can see that Ryzen 7 5700G performs significantly above the competition. To our loyal DIYers and enthusiasts, I want to say we heard you loud and clear. You told us you wanted a new APU with our Zen 3 cores and you won't have to wait much longer. Both models will be available starting August 5th with the 5700G priced at $359 and the 5600G at $259. So they're showing off this new generation of CPUs they're about to release that are not only affordable, but also can provide solid graphics performance without a GPU. The Ryzen 5000 series has been well regarded on the market for a while now, but these new G series ones seem to be pushing the limits. One of the challenges associated with GPUs, like a separate GPU, is that because they require a lot of power, they also produce a lot of heat. And heat requires fans, and fans require energy. So gaming laptops have traditionally provided like super garbage battery life. But if you can output more power within just the CPU and avoid having a whole separate GPU card, the performance is boosted, the battery performance is boosted. 
They go on to share more about their new laptop offerings on the horizon later in the video, which we'll do here in a second. The next piece of information gives us more reason to be excited about the next steps of AMD's partnerships. While Nvidia is often regarded as being a pain to work alongside, AMD is very different. Check this out. In addition, we're very proud to be at the heart of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S with RDNA 2 and Ryzen CPU technology. Millions of these popular new game consoles have shipped around the world. But we're really just getting started with RDNA 2. So you might be surprised to learn the next place you'll find RDNA 2 graphics. It's actually on the road in the electric vehicle market with the new Tesla Model S and Model X. So we've actually, we have an embedded AMD Ryzen APU powering the infotainment system in both cars, as well as a discrete RDNA 2 based GPU that kicks in when running AAA games, providing up to 10 teraflops of compute power. We are thrilled to be working with Tesla to bring the power of Ryzen and Radeon to their newest flagship cars and look forward to giving gamers a great new platform for AAA gaming. The next place you'll find RDNA 2 will be the high performance mobile phone market. AMD has partnered with industry leader Samsung for several years to accelerate graphics innovation in the mobile market. And we're happy to announce that we will bring custom graphics IP to Samsung's next flagship mobile SoC with ray tracing and variable rate shading capabilities. So we have near PS5 levels of power coming to the navigation of the Tesla Model X and S and ray tracing power in cell phones? Like what is, what's on the horizon after that, dude? This is insane. So Tesla's really impressive among automakers because they're really well known for being vertically integrated and they're comfortable building whatever they need for the application when it comes to powering the AI systems behind self-driving and many other demanding applications. So to have them outsourcing a project like this to AMD shows a lot. All I'm worried about now is how to explain to my wife that I'm sitting in my car on the driveway for hours playing video games. <laughs> it's like, how do I pipe this into my house? <laughs> The third point I wanted to cover goes back to what I mentioned a minute ago about laptops. While AMD doesn't make their own laptops like complete laptop packages, they do provide a lot of the parts for third-party laptop makers like Asus or HP. They're continuing work on their CPU and GPU combos and partnering with even more laptop makers to change the game in performance laptops by offering once again, superior bang for the buck. Keep in mind that while they've been focusing on this track of providing really good bang for the buck, we shareholders are still seeing things like gross revenues up 93% year over year and gross profits up 94% year over year. So they're not like sacrificing profitability to be doing things like this. So taking a closer look, I had my friend Dave2D make a video review on the new Asus Strix G15 Advantage, which is powered by an AMD CPU and GPU. Check out what he has to say. All right, for the past few years now, when it comes to gaming laptops, or performance laptops in general that are graphics focused, there's been one brand that's dominated for like, I wanna say like a decade, maybe even more. It's been Nvidia. When it comes to laptop GPUs, Nvidia has just taken that crown and held onto it firmly until today. So a few months ago, AMD let me know like, hey, you know, look out for June. We're gonna be announcing something in June. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at it. It's gonna be cool. It comes in, it's cool. So. This is the 6800M laptop GPU, and it's being announced alongside with the 6700M and a 6600M. And the short of it is this. This device with that 6800M is faster than an RTX 3070 by a pretty significant margin and very close to an RTX 3080. In some cases it's better, in some cases it's worse. It depends on the game that you're benchmarking, but it's very close to an RTX 3080. The best part of it all is that it's cheaper. It's cheaper than a 3080, it's even cheaper than a 3070, and that is special. So this device here is the first laptop available with one of these new AMD GPUs. It's the Asus Strix G15, they call it the Advantage Edition, and it's very similar to the regular Strix G15, except it's running an AMD GPU alongside with that AMD CPU. So let's just jump right into the benchmarks. This system outperforms an RTX 3070 handedly. There wasn't a single game or benchmark where the 3070 was able to beat the 6800M. And this is a cheaper product by about $150 to $200, depending on the system that you're looking at. 
And then when you compare it to an RTX 3080, this is still competitive. This device can keep up with the best laptop GPU from NVIDIA, the RTX 3080. And it's strange to see, it's refreshing to see because when was the last time we saw a device that was this good coming out from AMD in terms of their laptop graphics? It's never been a thing, really. Like they've had good stuff, but not stuff that was competitive like this. The other thing is pricing. Because this whole device costs $1,650, so $1,650, and this isn't like the most expensive or the cheapest, this is kind of a product, right? This is the first one that's launching with it. You can't get this performance for this kind of money when it comes to an NVIDIA laptop. You cannot. Even if you go with like those off brands, like the you know electronics, that cover a lot of that stuff, you cannot get an RTX 3080 for 1,650 bucks. It's not a thing. So to be able to deliver this kind of performance is awesome for the consumer. We're just gonna see pricing drop down a little bit. So Dave, whose channel basically reviews stuff like this all the time, tells us that the competition in NVIDIA straight up cannot offer a product this good for this price. In a lot of cases, this outperforms some of NVIDIA's higher performing laptops too. So if that's not enough for you to get excited about what's on the horizon for AMD, please feel free to check out our playlist to learn more. All these videos have been made in the last couple of weeks with up-to-date info and financials. Love you guys. Don't forget to stay generous.